Okay, right, we've got a, another one of these little inverter circuits. Now, I did start building one, I did build one with the um, CD4047. I can't remember how, but I managed to kill it. I managed to kill it. I had it working, I got some footage, and it was all good, and I was changing over lots of different, um, different MOSFETs and transistors. So I could show you, this is the circuit for this, if I pop this back in here. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick change tomorrow. I've, I've, got, some of the, I've got some of these on their way. Uh, I ordered them the day before yesterday. So I'm hoping they'll be here tomorrow because they're supposed to be next day delivery. Uh, so and that will go back in there and that made this circuit work again, which is the 4047. So I figured, okay, well I've got some 4017s. Um, because they came with the, the the little kits to make the infrared switches, you know, and so I've popped one of those in down here, and I'm pulsing that from the output of the 555 timer, and that's given me two outputs. Now the difference between this and the uh, the 4047 is the 4047 gives you a non-inverting and inverting output square waves but this one gives you this I don't know how if I can put my light up to see what's written on there so and that's, and that's the outputs from this which is a little bit bizarre because they're both non-inverting so but it works I don't think it's as good now on this circuit really to feed my transformer then you need 12 volts and I should have put a voltage regulator in and brought 12 volts in regulated down for 9 volts because this seems to be happier in the 9 volt range um, but what I've done is I've cheated so I couldn't I couldn't be bothered to wire one up on here I should do really because I'm doing it for experience not you know trying to take the lazy man's way out of doing things but what I ended up doing was just make a, another connection to the power supply over there um, so if I hit that it gets, gets bright because um, we've, got, we've got 12 and a half volts I'm trying to simulate my batteries 12.5 uh, volts but yeah so uh, that's been turning it all off. I wasn't supposed to do it. I was supposed to put the other one on. And you see, there's a little bit of a, a weirdness going on on that waveform like that. And a, a slight flicker on the on the bulb, which you don't normally get with the uh, with the other five 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 uh, circuit that I did. You didn't get that flicker and with the 4047 circuit you didn't get that flicker just for this circuit here um, on my diagram here it has the 9 volt regulator I can't remember where I found this where I found this circuit if anybody wants to uh, point it out to me I've, I've, I don't as you can see look there's no, I've not written anything on the paper but that works I made a couple of changes I put there was a 33k there I put a 27k in to get the 50 Hertz and it's 10 volts uh, 0 10 volts on the transformer I've already got 9 volts and 12 so I think that's the adjustment made here uh, to get the output I don't, I'm not sure if that's actually correct but I've got 12 volts on mine anyway yeah just another basic simple inverter now again the same as with the 4047 you can't these are just for like lights you know a lot of the places that I find these circuits on the internet and um, they're normally from uh, like India type areas Philippines those sort of places and when I see them using them on the videos it's normally uh, it's normally those sort of areas again because they're using their motorbike batteries uh, to have a bit of power in the house so but just for um, practice wiring up 
um, I'm getting a lot quicker at doing this sort of thing. I remember it used to be a right headache, an hour or so task just to wire up a 555, but I seem to be just putting these together quite quickly now, so... I, I, I am going to make the H bridge with this, that's what I was going to go on and do, uh, was make a H bridge uh, inverter, and that's what I will do when i got the, the other chip tomorrow. So there will be a video coming out about for CD4047 H bridge. I should probably add actually that this, uh, the outputs of this uh, chip are going to these resistors and these are jumping across these MOSFETs. I've just left it all the same wired up, you know, ready for this circuit to go back. Um, and I, I've just really been lazy and so I've just hooked onto those MOSFETs that are already there with the wires and everything and grounded and, uh, and I've just added a couple of resistors. Uh, to the ground here which is illustrated that everything's on here anyway everything's on the, uh, the circuit and on these I've used um, IRF 30 3205s because they're just pretty good all-rounders I think